Hello world and welcome to a quick little video. This is a little bit different than what I normally do, obviously, because this is mainly a gaming channel, but I wanted to talk about the new Rode Wireless Micro Lavalier mic. Here's the carrying case that it comes in. There's both microphones and the receiver in the center, um, which you plug into your phone. Um, I've got the lightning version right now because I still have a phone or an iPhone that has lightning. Um, but it also comes in USB-C. This is not a um, full like review of the product. This is actually for specifically when you're actually going into editing the uh, footage that comes from it itself. I recorded this video a couple times because I was going to touch on something that I just I think is just too much and unnecessary, too convoluted for this. Basically, I recorded some test footage with these microphones. And when I imported them into DaVinci, I'll use this clip as an example. You'll see that when I imported it, it's only showing one line or one audio track, even though I have it split in the app. And I'll, I'll show this here. So I'll just plug my receiver into my phone real quick. And now that is connected. I'll actually put a screen recording of being inside the app. So once we're in the app, if you tap on this microphone up in the corner, you'll see that by default, when it first comes in, it'll just be, it'll look like this. And it says merged on the channels. But if you tap that again, it'll say split. And if I tap on a microphone individually, you'll see that that one reacts and that one reacts. So it, it's reading that they're separate. It's clear that it's receiving signals from indivi the both individual microphones. So it is split, but when it imports, it's not technically. And when I was looking for any information on how to solve this, I, for some reason, just couldn't find any. Um, it seemed like everyone made their video of these microphones on the exact same day. And this was pretty much the only topic they didn't touch. Um, so I wanted to talk about how to fix this. So if you recorded anything with these microphones and you had it in split mode, and then you bring it into your editing software and you only see one track, because I've tried this in DaVinci, Premiere, After Effects, Audition even, it always comes in as one track. The way to fix that is you have your footage, you go in and you duplicate your audio track. And then for me, because I'm in DaVinci, I go to the Fairlight tab and you'll see now Obviously, there's two audio tracks here. And because I'm looking at the second audio track here, I'll just right click on this one, go to clip attributes, and then you'll see the left and right channel here. And again, since I'm in audio track two, I'm going to take this embedded channel one and switch it to two. So now it's still in stereo. And now both the left and right will be on channel two. And you'll see that that changes there. Now I'm going to go to the audio track one, right click, clip attributes. And then because I'm in track one, I'm going to change channel two to channel one. And now you'll see when I go back to the editing tab. And now the tracks will be separate. Um, it's kind of hard to see here because I had the microphones close to each other when I was doing my tests. So here is an example of what it would look like after I applied the same method here. So originally this was just one track and they were combined. And then after I did the split, you can clearly see that both my microphone and my wife's microphone are being picked up separately. So that is how you deal with the issue when it comes in as one track, just duplicate the the audio track, change each track to its respective audio channel. So again, channel two, I just make it channel two, channel one, channel one. And that way, as long as you have it set as split in the road capture app, you should be able to fix it that way. But I wanted to make this video for people who were like me. And when they first brought it into their software, they realized there was only one track and started getting worried that either they missed a setting somewhere or it wasn't working. It is working. You just have to do a couple extra steps in order to get it to work. I'm also making this video for Rode so that they can see kind of the extra steps that we have to take. And hopefully they will realize that that's kind of unnecessary, especially in almost 2025. So I think that this could easily be solved with a very simple software update and just make it to where when you have it set to split mode, it'll it just records both like it clearly does but it just exports with two tracks as well. So that way we don't have to go in and do the extra editing. 
I also want to make it clear that I'm not complaining about Rode at all. I have Rode, I have all sorts of Rode products. I have the Rode NT1, which is what I'm using right here. I got the Rode microphone arm back there. I've got the pod mic. Um, I've got the Rodecaster 2 Pro. I'm a big fan of Rode. They're my go-to audio company, so I'm not complaining or anything. I just think that this is kind of a, an unnecessary extra step for a product like this, and I think it can be easily fixed. And also, again, I didn't want people who got this product to think that they had a defective product and then return it and either try to get it replaced and have the same issue or get an entirely new product. So if you were encountering that issue, hopefully this helped you. Uh, if it did, leave a like and a comment letting me know. Um, if you have any other methods that work better than this or maybe there is some way that you can import it with both separated tracks already please let me know as well because i would love to know that otherwise here's how you do it and again i think it would be a very easy fix for uh road to implement so thank you all so much for watching hope that you enjoyed hope you found it helpful if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed the video hit that subscribe button but only if you want to and i'll see you guys in the next video have a good one